but anyway you know just looking at Ave right here uh so let me give you you know areas of interest so this is you know this is a support right here of course you know 49 dollars right here uh let's call it 50 dollars and then you have this right here at 24 dollars and then you have right down here at eleven dollars so these are the first three targets that i'm very interested in uh you broke this we retest this uh you broke this we retest this so 49 24 and 11. those are the, uh, those are the three targets uh downside three targets that i'm very interested in now upside targets you have uh big resistance right here around you know 40 uh, excuse me not 40 around 98 dollars uh let's touch this other wake right here it's around 93 dollars and then you have another one right here at 116 dollars and then you have another one right here at 165 dollars so those are my three upside price targets so these will be the only targets that i'm interested in short term and medium term right here this is more of a short term this is more of uh you know you want to give it a couple months uh this is more of a short term you know right up here uh you want to give it a couple months but looking at Ave. You know, if I was to speculate on Ave, uh, if I was a buyer on Ave, I want to get in right down here. This is where, as a long-term investor, I want to build a position. You know, more aggressive around eleven dollars and below eleven dollars. Uh, getting in right now. I don't think it makes a lot of sense. And the reason is because we are definitely going to retest this support right here. So, you know, $49. We are definitely going to retest that. And, uh, you know, if this is lost, you know, you should be able to get in at, at $24. So, you know, instead of getting in right up here at $64, you know, you can buy more tokens right down here at $24. So long-term buyer right here, swing trader or day trading right up here is fine, uh, but just make sure you, you, know, you really apply very, very tight stop loss just in case it does go against your trade. So I hope that's, you know, I hope that's helpful. Oh, so long term. All right. So yeah, so long term right down here. I feel comfortable. Like personally, I, you know, I want to buy something. So when we do get back to the bull market, I can squeeze out, you know, all the gains. Because, you know, getting in right here, I mean, just going back to a sold time high, now you're looking at 2,755% gains. And if we break, you know, above, the old time high. Uh, this is a project that was uh, seven hundred dollars in the last bull market. We could potentially get a three x its previous old time high. So that could take us to like you know twenty one hundred dollars. So I mean the gains are absolutely insane. You know I say eight thousand percent gains if we get a three x from eight hundred dollars. But you want to get in, you know, as far away from, you know, the old time high as you can pass, as you can, uh, you know, passably. So you really want to get in, you know, as far away from the old time high as you can pass, uh, you know, as you can passably can.
Uh, that is Ave. Let's see what else is here. Uh, Koti and Gala. Now, uh, these are. Koti and Gala. Uh, let's take a look at Koti. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Koti is definitely, you know, not looking good. Uh, here we are. You have this level right here. You have this level right here, three cents. And then you also have, you know, right down here, two cents. So three targets, uh, outside targets. I'm looking at, you know, 13 cents. And, you know, right up here, uh, 17 cents. And, uh, you know, of course, the big one is this one right here, 33 cents. So this is, you know, short term right here. This first target is short term, short term right here, short term right here. Uh, this is more of a, this is more of a, like a midterm, but it is going to take a couple months, of course, uh, similar right here, you know, up here. If I was a buyer, if I was a buyer, you know, this is where I want to build my position, you know, right down here. From the current price all the way down into this range, that is a 50 plus percent drop. So right down here is where I want to get in. And honestly speak, I mean, honestly, just looking at this, there's a lot of reason, you know, to feel comfortable speculating that we could potentially drop, you know, right down in this range right here. Uh, because you can see we don't really have much of a support, you know, right up here. But if we do come back right here, there's a lot of confluence. Uh, you can see, you know, previous resistance uh, becomes a support. Uh, you have some support right here. You go back right here, you know, previous resistance again becomes a support. So you have more of a support, you know, right down in this range compared to where we are right now. And again, this is a 50% drop. And that is why. And if we think about another you know, couple months for the old coin market, you know, this is something that can definitely take another couple months to play out. You know, you look at the previous drops. So you look at this, these huge drops right here from, from 34 cents, you know, all the way down to seven cents. Uh, that was a 77% drop and it took, let's see how long it took. So it took from April until June. That is, you know, two months right there, guys. And you look at the first one, you know, it took us from November until March of 2023. And that was 133 days. So, you know, again, a couple months. And you look at this, this other one right here from March of 2021 until July of 2021. And that took around, you know, 190, uh, 119 days. So three months. So, you know, this is something that can, you know, definitely play out, but, uh, you know, it would definitely take some time.